Hey folks, I know it's really dark right now. I'm trying to save my light in my truck until I read y'all a verse, but I wanted to share with y'all a vision first so my battery don't go dead. I'm not gonna crank it because it's too loud and I don't want to make the neighbors mad. Um, so I had this vision a couple of days ago and I kept it on the inside. I wasn't sure if it was just for me to know or for everybody. So today I shared it with a couple of friends and they were like, wow, that's uh, powerful. So. I just decided to just go ahead and tell everybody um, only here on YouTube because it's too long for anything else. Anyways, in my vision, in which before I go into it, it wasn't a daydream for the record. It felt like I wasn't even in my body anymore. I was literally watching TV, a movie with my wife, and all of a sudden it's just like I was out of my body and uh, didn't fall asleep. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I've already said this before. I don't drink anything but water and coke <laughs> anyways um in my dream or my vision i was above the earth and as i was looking on the earth i noticed this white fog all around the world it wasn't above the earth it was on the earth and um the scene switched and i was standing back on the earth and this fog was it was pretty thick it really did look like fog to me anyways there was a bunch of people around and in some of these people the fog was inside them you could see it glowing inside of them and a lot of the other people that I saw the fog if I was a guesser man I'd say it was four or five feet from them in a solid circle around them but it wasn't in them and then there was people that the fog wasn't even around them at all Anyways, and the scene switched from there, and it was like, I, I saw this man sleeping in his bed. He was on his side facing me, and the fog was above him. Again, it wasn't in him, it was above him. And I saw these two white glowing, it looked like golf balls, drop down out of the fog and went inside of his head. Y'all, I really do believe the Lord showed me the Holy Spirit, and that is... I'm getting tingles right now. Um, but I also wanted to share something with y'all. I know it seems confusion, uh, confu confusing, excuse me. I sounded like, I'm not going to say it. Anyways, um, some people, I, I get a lot of comments from people saying, I've, I've been a Christian for this long. I, I gave my life to the Lord this long. And I've never had a dream. I've never done this. I don't speak in tongues. I, I mean, there's just different things. And, um, excuse me, let me go ahead and read this to y'all. I'm going to turn this light on. Let me flip over here. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11. And I'm going to read it to y'all. And I would advise y'all to read it for yourselves too. Just, uh, don't, don't go off of what I say. All right, so now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is of the same God which worketh in all and all. <coughs> Excuse me. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge. By the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues not all is going to speak in tongues to another the interpretation of tongues not everybody gets that but all these worketh <clears throat> that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man as he will just because you don't have dreams just because you don't speak in tongues you may have something different you may have dreams of prophecy and not speak in tongues you may speak in tongues and not dream prophecy it's just you know it's, it's different with everyone and that scripture right there clears that up um, 
I don't want anything that I say to be confusing to anybody. That's why I advise everybody to go read for themselves. And while I got y'all here, let's go read. Uh, let me get over here. I don't want my battery to run dead. It's hot out of here, y'all. And it's uh, 8.30. I'm going to go over here to Acts. Alright, now I'm in X. I need to go to 2. Y'all forgive me, I didn't have this marked. Alright. <clears throat> Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Y'all remember when I first got saved? And... I'm telling y'all, I felt tingles all through my body. And the only thing I ever had that beat that feeling was when my heart stopped in 2018. And I felt this peace come over me that nobody would ever believe. It's just like the Bible says, it's a peace that surpasses all understanding. And that came upon me right before lights went out. So when I accepted Jesus Christ into my life, and got baptized and all that stuff. I felt the tingles, but I didn't speak in tongues. Not everybody's going to get that gift. Not everybody's going to dream. Don't let that scare you if people say that, because I just read that to y'all. And again, go read it in 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 11. I love all of you, and don't ever think I don't. God bless you.